This is Artifacts from Mars, and I did a previous video pleading with southern folks to uh, protect their culture from these New York liberals, New York, especially New York City uh, liberals who want to destroy it. I'm going to expand a little on that, and I'm going to also show an example of this. Now, here's a New York City whacked out liberal who wants to ban an old Civil War classic from the 1930s called Gone with the Wind. His name is Lou Luminek. If you aren't familiar with Gone with the Wind, it's essentially a big long soap opera set in the Old South during the Civil War with Clark Gable as Rhett Butler and Vivian Leigh as Scarlett O'Hara. But this whacked out liberal, Lou Luminick, is saying, okay, if we're going to ban the uh, Confederate flag, we got to do away with the uh, Gone with the Wind, too. See, I told you, they intend to erase uh, all vestiges of Southern culture. And I'm going to tell you another thing, too. Uh, if your kids are uh, kind of into tradition, you're a girl, say you have a girl going to the prom, in a few years, maybe not even that long, they won't be allowed to wear you know, southern style outfits. It won't be allowed to be southern bells. Or if your kid's a boy, he won't be allowed to wear an outfit of a southern gentleman. That's my prediction. They're going to take that away. They're going to say that's racist. See, anything these sons of bitches are allowed to slap with a racist tag can be banned now in this country. Just bam, 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 bam. Now, Gone with the Wind, if you have the patience to watch it, I suppose it's a great movie. It's not really my cup of tea to any extent, but hey. This is supposed to be a classic, so why should we allow these uh, New York liberals to uh, ban it? And that's what he wants to do. Of course, he doesn't have the power to, but he suggested it. I suggest maybe you should email this uh, New York whack job. This is a whack job, and give him a piece of your mind. And Gone with the Wind is a literary classic, both book and movie. And if they ban the movie, then they're going to ban the book. As uh, Margaret Mitchell was, according to this article, was a diehard Southerner. So if they ban it, so it isn't just your uh, precious Confederate flag that's going to be burnt taken down and burned. They're going to burn a lot of stuff. They're going to burn books. They're going to burn anything to do with the South. They're going to destroy it. If they're allowed to. They're like ISIS. They're like a non-violent version of ISIS. Uh, well, non-violent for now. These are fascist people. That's all they are. They are fascists. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They want to prevent you from seeing anyone else's point of view but their own. Now, having said that, I said I was going to expand on the culture thing. Well, you see, it isn't just Southern culture that they want to eradicate, though. And you saw, you know, New York City whacked out nutcases like Lou Luminick. Uh, they're also going to try to wipe out European culture. White European culture is going to go uh, the way of 
Confederate battle flag if these people are not stopped. How do I know this? Well, I'm going to give you a small town example. Every year in Honeyway Falls, they have this festival, and on Father's Day, they have fire dancing girls, and yeah, I like to watch them. But uh, this year, what they told us was traditional Irish dancing was in t-shirts and shorts, all except for one girl and a couple of tiny little tights. Other than that, there's no traditional outfits, no traditional dresses, no traditional wigs either. So now traditional Irish dancing is uh, in t-shirt and shorts. See, they're trying to eliminate all vestiges of white European culture because we're the ones that settled here. And they want to turn this whole country into a big uh, third world Spanish-speaking cesspool is what they want to do. Spanish and other languages. They want to turn it into a big third world cesspool. That's what they want to do. And they've got to be stopped. they got to get the borders shot and start deportations. I read an article that Obama was only uh, succeeded in deporting 4% of the uh, border surge. Oh. Uh, people, 96% of them are still here. But, you know, here you have the proof. They want to destroy not just Confederate flag, but Confederate culture, and ultimately they want to destroy European culture. I'll give you another example of that. I don't think this one is really part of the culture war but they also have a German festival around here. I don't go up into the city to go to their festivals. I went up into the city of Rochester once. The Lilac Festival. And the Lilac, I went up there specifically to see Highway 101. Man, I enjoyed it too. Only problem was a gang with a lot of mean looking members came through the park and while they didn't cause any trouble that persuaded me to stay uh, down where I am. They're uh, a bunch of white trash punks basically. They're gang members. Okay, but we have this German, anyway I was saying that we have this German festival down here in I went to it one year expecting to see German dancing culture and all that. There's nothing. It's just drink, 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 drink. Beer, 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 beer. Just drink, 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 drink. That's all I did. There's some music. I was rather one second my cell phone's pinging. Alright, uh, I was rather disgusted by that, to be honest with you. Drink, 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 drink. It's all about just getting drunk. I went there, uh, for the culture and, uh, dancing and whatnot, and I was sorely disappointed. But, you know, here you go. Here's the proof. They want to eliminate all Southern culture. They want to eradicate all European culture. You're white. If you're of white European descent, you're in serious trouble in this country. Because what these people are, they're the same things, same thing basically as the Nazis, except they have a different scapegoat. Jews were used as a scapegoat. It's an old political trick. Uh, you rally the people by creating an enemy. 
me, that sounds familiar. You rally the people by creating an enemy. That's what this whole uh, white privilege thing is about. It's the same thing they did with the Jews, exactly the same. There's no difference. Only the times have changed and the theater itself has changed. Now it's our country that these bastards are working in. And believe me, these assholes are just as evil as uh, the Nazis were. Their methods may be different to an extent, but th these are the same people. There's no difference. So my advice to you, especially you Southerners, but uh, if you're of white European descent, you like going to these festivals, they're gonna they're gonna disappear. All your white European country uh, culture is going to disappear from this country if these bastards aren't stopped. You know, these whacked out um, New York City liberals and such, like Lou Luminick. Not just in New York City. College professors teach us uh, white privilege thing. You're in a lot of trouble, people. Wake the hell up. Sheesh. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for viewing.